a complete book of calligraphy and lettering. I forgot to write the author's name and I'm pretty sure I used the screenshots for this in the other book with the same title. So, <laughs> very fascinating. So, uh, you get three parts. It tells you what's under each. Uh, you get an introduction, history, and supplies type of information. So you get practice strokes on in different fonts and styles. You do get practice sheets, like grids and regular lines, like you would get if you were, like, for, like, little kids, like, learning how to basic write, like, their letters. You get that type of thing. And to me, like you could co like scan and copy them for like future use if you wanted to. Tips are in like a yellow type of box and like red numbers and lines tell reader like how to make the letter. And so chapter four deals with illuminating manuscripts. Um, illuminated calligraphy so like the letters like that big kind of like chunk letter you would see in manuscripts you learn how to do like that kind of thing and writing it and it does um have a bit of a step-by-step -step how to do them you do get um different styles it just gives like a page per style of the alphabet and a word. Um, part two deals with like flourishes, borders, and ideas. You do get, um, but you do get over 200 pages of different types of calligraphy. So, and it's from the same publi um, publisher that did, um, that like put out drawing school fundamentals for the beginner which I did a previous review on and but I wasn't too huge on that book but this book I, I'm like yeah okay <laughs> I might pick up again if my library has it if I take up an interest in calligraphy um but yeah it's it, it's another book that's named the complete book of calligraphy and lettering so <laughs> bound to happen sometimes but yeah happy readings